All right, let's get you caught up right now on the very latest on the campfire in Butte County. Nine people now confirmed dead. We have about 6,700 structures that have now been destroyed. The fast-moving wildfire has already wiped out the entire city of Paradise. And just on the outskirts of town, some people watched as their homes burned to the ground. And this all began just yesterday morning after flames broke out west of Highway 70. And in a matter of hours, the campfire forced all of Paradise to evacuate. We're covering all angles of this devastating fire. Our team coverage starts with KPX 5's Andrea Borba live in Butte County with the latest developments. Andrea? Well, the sheriff in Butte County says that they found bodies inside cars and just outside cars as people were trying to escape this rapidly moving wind fueled fire and they were overtaken by flames. We have some video to show you. The evacuation of Paradise and parts of Butte County was absolutely devastating. It is very single, narrow, two way roads, but not a lot of room for that many people, 27,000 people in the city of Paradise, to get out all at the same time as a firestorm is moving in. You can see cars littered along the side of the road. We spoke with one retired firefighter who saved his girlfriend's house last night. He says he's never seen anything like this. I've seen a lot of fire, but this is the worst I've ever seen. The winds were so high, and um, I mean, it was incredible. It was like hurricane force winds all night long. Uh, the good news out here at this moment, yesterday evening around this time, we were down on the valley floor in the city of Durham, just outside the city of Durham. We were getting pelted with very high winds at this point, and it was much higher at elevation. Where I'm standing right now, I am 12 miles outside Paradise on the Skyway. We're at elevation. It is absolutely still right now. Hopefully, this will give firefighters out here trying to get a grasp on this rapidly growing deadly fire, a chance to get a handle on things at this point. Alan, Veronica. Okay. Andrea, thanks so much. Tonight, people at evacuation centers around Chico are still waiting to hear from their loved ones who are unaccounted for. On top of that, many haven't been able to get back to their homes, and, of course, their frustration is growing. I'm worried about my family. I can't, can't find them, so I'm worried, so I'm just going from place to place looking. And There's a lot of people in the same boat as us. No actual numbers are available yet as to how many people are missing. KPX 5's Wilson Walker continues our team coverage now. He is live near Chico. Wilson? You know, I want to pick up on, on those two points. Uh, the gentleman who just said there's so many other folks in the same boat as us. I think the guy I talked to at, at earlier said the exact same thing. And uh, to, to Andrea's story about uh, getting out of paradise on, the, on that sort of narrow road, you know, uh, one of the gentlemen I spoke with who is now in a shelter here in Chico described his experience getting out of there. Uh, he, and, he and his wife, but they didn't leave alone. They, they, they came across a neighbor who they realized needed help, so I'll, I'll, let, him, uh, I'll let him pick up the story. But we uh, had taken an old lady um, that was 80 years of age. She had two dogs, and she was scared with dementia. It was almost like uh, going through hell, literally. Um, the car was uh, heated. You could feel the heat from through the doors and through the windows driving, and the ambers that uh, was flying uh, from, from everything was hitting the car. We got her out of there, um, took her down the hill, and we... Uh, Settled at Jack in the Box. Uh, a, a lot of stories like that uh, to be told after after last night uh, here in this part of California. And it just adds to the long number of incidents that we have seen going back over a year now. You know, Alan and I standing in the Journeys Inn Mobile Home Park in Santa Rosa, and then the, up in Redding just a couple months ago. Uh, it feels like we're chasing the same story. Uh, just from one spot to another around California. And right now it's, it's Chico and the area up around Paradise. Yeah, eerily familiar and uh, just as frightening, if not more, because it keeps happening. Wilson, great job. Thank you. And some eerie scenes over the bay this afternoon, that glowing sun shrouded by the smoke. Looking east, you only see part of Oakland there. All the smoke does present a big health risk to all of us.